In this video I'm going to show you how to use macros or how to record macros and demonstrate the difference between relative references and not relative references, something called absolute references. So let's say I, went, I wanted to record a macro. I could either click down here, this button, or go to the developer tab and click right here on record macro. Let's name this macro uh, YouTube macro. It should have no spaces in it. And hit OK. Now, time doesn't matter in the macro. I can wait for hours, and it's only going to start recording once I start moving or clicking on things. So, it's not recording my mouse motion. It's going to record when I click on something or I type something, things like that. So I just click down here in D23. Let me type uh, with caps lock on X, 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 and then hit enter. And that's my macro. Yeah? I can either click stop here or stop up here. Again, time doesn't matter. I can wait for a while, whatever. Stop. Okay, I now have a macro. Now let me get rid of this right here. Delete. Okay, what's going to happen when I play that macro? To play the macro, I click on macros in the developer tab, select the macro I'm interested in, that is YouTube macro, and hit run. And it goes down to D23 and puts in all those X's, and then it also went to this cell when it was done. All right. So that was using absolute references. Let's do this same thing using relative references. Let me get rid of this. In fact, no, I'm going to leave it there and see what happens. Okay, use relative references. Go ahead and start recording a macro. This one's going to be you, oops, YouTube. Macro relative. And hit OK. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it in um, D24. Caps lock is on. X, 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 and enter. Oh, it went down there. Bother. Well, let's put it all the way back over here. It recorded me moving over there, so that's fine. And then I'll stop recording. Now, what's going to happen when I play this macro? Macros and relative run. Look what happened. My macro that I recorded, <coughs> I put X's from D24 to, J tw uh, to K24. But <coughs> in this one, it did it in D25. What if I hit play again? Run. It did it in D26. It does it wherever I am. It does it relative to my current position. What if I do it over here? Macros, run. And it did it over here. Again, if I were to let me get rid of this line so we can see what happens here. If I were to run the first one that was not relative, it was using absolute references, it just sticks it back where I started. Cool, huh? And that's how you record macros.